so welcome back guys today i'll be taking you through what you can do to create um, a u.s resume what we call a cv the u.s way because in u.s they usually prefer a one page resume so if you have a three page cv back in your country you have to pick the most important part and include it so we are going to go what you're going to do you're going to download this app called canva so you're going to go to your play store I believe your phone has it um, so you're going to come to search type canva c a n v a then you search so here it is the one in blue click install and then you give it time to install doesn't take it doesn't take a lot of your space so it's just like 13 MB so then you open it up so once you open up Canva, you're going to come, it's going to bring you to this page. Click this plus icon down here, the one, the plus icon in purple, click on it. Then now what would you like to create? You want to create a resume. So we want to create a teacher resume. So let me type USA teacher resume template we want a template where we can edit and insert our content then you search so it it gives you these two options i believe you're going to go with the first one teacher resume so it's going to populate different designs so you see professional resume uh -huh, so you have them here then uh, take note of the one written pro pro you have to pay for it if you love those designs if you decide to pick on it you're going to pay for it but again, I don't think at this point you really need to pay for it. We just want a simple design the way the U the US standard way. So again, with the photo, it's optional. You can decide to include your photo. Some agencies ask for it. Some agencies don't ask. So it wouldn't um be a bad idea to put it. If you opt not to put it and get it, it won't reduce your chances unless your agency asks for it. So it's an open option. If they don't ask for it, you can decide to not to include it. You can decide to include it. It's all up to you so uh, you go through you scan uh, so once you press on it that's when it's gonna give you the content so please click on it see the design layout to see like the first one the width design is different all of them if you look keenly the designs are different so go for the free ones and look at a design that you want um, let me choose uh -huh. let me choose for example this one written Anna so once you click on it, it becomes clearer and you can be able to see. So the first thing you want to start is editing the name. So you, you are, the best thing, you're going to click on the name part. So you can, don't click delete, click on inside the name. You know it turns blue. Now write your name. Write your name. Then once you're done, you click outside. Your name changes. So on the school teacher also I want to change here. Uh, the primary school teachers are called elementary teachers. Secondary school teachers are high school teachers. So edit accordingly. So I will I'll just want to time click near the school part, move my cursor back and say elementary 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 teacher. Then I click outside, it does the work for you. Then this beginning part is just like your intro, saying uh, the number of years, the number of teaching experience you have, the years, maybe a brief introduction of what you can do as a teacher. Um, you are like you see, like the way companies have missions and visions, like this is your like your teaching philosophy. You are selling yourself in very few words. What you look towards doing as a teacher, why you love teaching, why you don't teaching, you can write something relevant to your mission and vision <laughs> have it you write it briefly there again you can go through the different design and borrow ideas again if you don't like the ideas and you like to write your own and you're not the right part you don't have the ideas i'm going to show you an app uh where you can just type it and tell it what you want it to design and it brings out a design um it populates some paragraphs or words for you and you can copy and paste it here so let's leave that part. When you come to the contact part, um, you'll want to change the phone number. So you can include your phone number there. So I click 
let me move my cursor to the top but so remember you are playing from outside the us so definitely you are going to start with your um and make sure you move the icons like here you can see the icons are kind of messed up oh they've started with the email you always start with your email email guys is very important in the us mostly they communicate through email so include your personal email here just delete this one and write your personal email so you're just going to come and click there write your email let me see and i move it up to go along with the icon so um just write your email um what am i gonna write um let me see dorcas w9 at gmail.com but if you want to reach me by email this is the common email dorcas w9 at gmail.com shoot me an email even in case you need to tell me something then now for the phone number you can include it or exclude it um usually they want the email the phone number i'm gonna try to click down there uh, let me use my country kenya so always start with the plus icon plus two five four then put your numbers there the next you go to where you stay you can just say nairobi kenya nairobi kenya they want your street address here we talk about street address where you live so just say nairobi kenya if you have a linkedin profile linkedin linkedin is like um platform for professionals if you have a linkedin page you can copy the link and include it here if you don't have it <coughs> it's not a big deal you can delete that part so you see you can delete some part so let me delete the linkedin part but if you have it please include it here so let me delete that part and also delete the linkedin icon i'm hoping let me click outside and try to i want to delete this linkedin icon I don't know whether it's gonna delete um i don't know why my cursor is not moving down here let me try zoom in and see how very good there it is delete good job so then try to move your contact they can just then you come to education remember you are starting with um you are um, in chronological order so it's your degree they want to see your degree and maybe any college you've attended and if space is enough your high school don't include your primary school stuff the voluntary part uh if it's relevant to teaching you can include it there if it's not you can definitely remove the entire section and it's gone you see you can leave it there but you see now this space is a bit blank so you can decide maybe instead of the voluntary work you can type um let me see if i can go back oh good you see if you want to edit you can go back and instead of voluntary work you can write uh like hobbies so please include hobbies <laughs> relevant to your teaching job <laughs> not others uh look for, for a hobby that is true you can see for example you are um you like this scouting movement uh you like scouting just say there i'm a member of the scout world movement i take guys for camping and stuff so scouting you can talk of um, what else soccer games athletics actually here they are looking for coaches in school you are you are given an extra pay if you can coach a team in a specific game and it pays well you get to travel man you get to travel to different places their games and especially here in my city they into basketball the others they, they do college soccer here football uh volleyball is very big here whichever anything you can coach even wrestling whatever you can badminton whatever if you're good at it and you know what you know write it there um i love volleyball i can coach include actually include it there it's gonna get you points then skills here definitely the skills we want is um relevant again to teaching lesson planning here they are so much into time management behavior management of the teachers uh, of the students so make sure you edit and include it there and again also please include um it skills at least you know how to type you can check up an email you can reply to an email so once you're satisfied that your cv is good click, click this upward arrow then it's going to come here and ask you what do you want to do with your design and it shows you a screenshot of your design and here they're just giving you you see like if you chose the paying type you will have to pay 10 us dollars so click download download how do you want it usually we want it in pdf so click here um the one the automatic one is png so please click down this downward arrow 
and choose choose this one that says pdf standard best for documents and emailing choose that one so once you're sure it's there then click download it's preparing your designs there you go so it's going to ask you where you want to, to send your document now either your email whatsapp or whatever please click the print option down there the print option um it's gonna come for example i've linked my phone to my home printer and to my school printer so it's gonna um, come to this arrow at the end don't worry click save as pdf it's going to save to your phone's file download files so save as pdf click that way then again it's going to show you how it's gonna be then click on this yellow pdf download icon then uh, it's gonna bring you to this page where do you want it to go i want it to go to my download select downloads then click down here remember to click save you've got your design very good you can even print if you're working on a computer you can print it so now i will get out of my phone and go to my folder and see whether it's there so i click outside i come look for my icon for files it's there my files i'm going to go to downloads canva you see already it's it, it's it has it's a created a folder for you it's from canva click on it i've done so many so remember and again please remember to write your official name dorcas anunda resume because remember the company is sending is receiving a lot of applications so click on it you just want to open it just say once you just want to see it before you send it and there you go so remember to write your name Dorka Sanunda resume remember your agency or whoever you are sending to me be, be receiving um resumes from different people so they want to see who is this coming from so this is my initial design on canva then i looked at it and i was like it was too colorful and i thought of i had to remove some stuff so i switched it i deleted actually the whole of it and um i used this one very simple and actually this is what i did this is what i sent to my agency and i got the job very simple direct yeah and again with the usa um you don't have to include your references you just write like a simple sentence if you need to that uh, references are available upon request you don't even have to write that sentence if they need the reference they'll ask you for their email so make it as simple as possible so to go to, to go to chat gbt go to your chrome browser on the search icon type chat gbt in your search so it's the first one open ai it's an open ai meaning it's free for you to use get answers find inspiration be more productive start now yes and it's always good to download the app and have it in your phone it's still the same so it's going to bring you to this page okay give me ideas create a work plan plan a trip make a personal web page so come to this you see this there's a part down there written message chat gbt you start right away there's even a cursor blinking waiting so let me see um generate generate oh sorry generate an about me introduction introduction to a usa teacher resume let's see let's see the magic then you click the up arrow then you give it time there you go boom within seconds so about me i'm dedicated and passionate educator with over dash years of experience in fostering a positive learning environment for diverse student populations committed to implementing innovative teaching strategies that engage students and promote critical thinking skilled in curriculum development classroom management and integrating technology to enhance learning outcomes strong advocate for inclusive education and lifelong learning continuously seeking professional development opportunities to improve instructional practices eager to contribute to a collaborative educational team and inspire students to reach their full potential perfect so you can copy this you see down here there's this copy 
copy it copy it then go back okay you see like your phone uh, most phones they have these three lines where you can skip pages as in you can move from one page to another so once you copy that one you can copy that one go to your design on canva or you open the canva app then wherever it is you come and paste it there so let me go back to chat dbt so uh, this is the download let me switch and paste it there again if it's very long you can reduce it you can edit it at least you have an idea to fit remember you don't want it to occupy a lot of space then it jumps to the second page they want a one page so uh you can click before you copy it uh oh, so here you can't change it so once you copy it you can go click and edit and remove pages then it again if you want um you can come and say duties of an duties of an elementary teacher in the usa in the usa let's see click the arrow watch for the magic perfect within seconds it has it so under duties but now under duties you won't click like one two three put those dots like the bullet points curriculum planning and it says uh -huh, instructional de delivering engaging lessons assessment will be assessing the student classroom management is very important communication with the management and teachers collaboration professional development supportive environment record keeping extracurricular activities so these are the main responsibilities so again remember we you are keeping to the one page so pick the most important and according to me um classroom management should not miss curriculum planning should not miss um definitely instruction delivering because that's what you'll be doing and uh, you can talk of collaboration or this supportive environment pick one and at least the basic they are those that are mandatory under the those are your duties and others you include them under the skills but under the skills you're just listing the points you're not elaborating so again if you like this copy go to chat gbt let me see if i can go you copy it let me click the three um arrows on your phone there are those uh, three lines that enable you to move from one page to the other one so i'm going to go back to canva i'm going to click my canva app Mm, and I believe it saved a copy of my a copy of my what this is my resume so what I'm going to do very good you see so once you come back here click for example which one have I copied I've copied the duties they were the last one let me try and bring this um let me include the duties by the way work experience okay Oh, the duties part um okay yeah you see like now here school superintendent uh, let's say you are not a school superintendent let's say you are um, lead teacher i was a bit confused um come to this part i don't want to select the whole bit i want the upper part only so with the phone again it's a lot of work let's say for example here i want to come and write my duties here so i'm going to come and erase whatever is here so I'm giving you just examples. Definitely working on a computer is the best option. But if you don't have options, the phone, this app still gives you that option. But maybe you have to, you have to be patient. So I want to time where there is the dot. Then I long press, paste. Boom. You see it has occupied everything I was telling you. It has taken the whole space. So now you have to click like for example the 8 part. Delete. Keep deleting until it gets to where you want it to be so it's tedious but you have no option this is for those of you who at least it also gives you an idea so you can have, you can write it down somewhere and like copy what you want because now it's going to give you a lot of work again coming here to delete clicking outside messing up your design but it definitely it will give you an idea so once you get it on chat gbt you can screenshot that page and or write it down and come and edit here because now you see it, it will have to give me a lot of work deleting editing until i get what i want so once i'm done so let me just delete that part so make sure if you are using chat gbt to copy and paste it's gonna mess up your design so the best option instead of copying and pasting just screenshot that page of chat gbt or write down the parts that you want have them down on a hard copy then come here edit this um 
so just click on some point there uh you just click delete whatever is here that you don't want let's say for example i delete this and now write your own write your own and then click outside and it applies i think that's the best option so you have no reason not to have a very perfect cv us standard ready to send to your agency so that you can get that job i wish you guys all the best again please if you find this content relevant let me know in the co comment and i'll keep creating more i want you more i want you guys here so that we can take advantage of this these kids need us we have the knowledge we have the education we have the experience so let's come and put it into practice let's um get the opportunity to develop professionally and take advantage yeah the money is good and the lifestyle is good too so karibuni sana